this video, we'll go over how to add a new page in your website builder. First, click on the Settings section and click on Design Forms and Website and then Website Builder and Themes. Next, click on the orange Customize Theme button to open up the website builder. Once you've opened the website builder, click the white Add button in the top left corner of the menu and then click Page. Next, a page title pop-up will appear where you can enter in the title of your page. Click the blue Save button to continue. You'll see a green notification at the top letting you know the page has been added and you will be redirected to your new page. If you click on the page menu up top, you can see that this page has now been added to the bottom of your list. To manage your pages, you can always click the Manage Pages link right here, and that will open up this left side menu. There are several different icons located to the right of the different pages. The eye icon will allow you to disable a page from view, which means that customers will no longer be able to view it. If you are sure you want to proceed with disabling a page, you can click the Yes button to continue. There's also a three vertical dot icon. If you click it, you can see a preview of the page, view the page settings, or delete it. The page settings includes options for SEO, including adding a page title, an SEO title, meta description, and keywords. You can also change the page URL and add a Facebook share image for this particular page. If you have a Google Analytics account, then you'd like to add a tracking code for the page, you can add it on this page here. If you have a Google Ads tracking code, you can add it under this tab. Facebook pixel tracking codes can be added here. And any other custom third party or tracking codes can be entered in the last box labeled header code. If you've added any codes or made changes to your SEO settings, be sure to hit the blue Save button once you're complete. Once you've added a page, you can hover over the page with your cursor to make changes to the appearance. When you see a blue Add Section button, you can click it and that will open up a left side menu which contains different blocks for each type of section you can add to the form. For example, the Services section allows you to add a Services block. Click the Add This Section button to insert the block into the page. Once the block has been inserted, you can hover over and click the Edit button to make changes to the appearance. Many of the features within the block can also be edited. To edit them, Hover over the text or image, and then click the little edit button that pops up. Once you're done with your page, be sure to click the Save button to save it to the back end, or Save and Publish to save your changes and publish them live to your website. Thank you so much for watching this video.